Well, for one thing, it's loose. Hi, old Keegan the Vlog here. Welcome back to the channel and 308 wrench time today. Last time we drove this car, we took it to Radwood and the speedometer crapped out. So um, the speedometer has been repaired. The actual head unit has been repaired by Palo Alto on this car because the odometer did not work when I got it. This time, both the odometer and the speedometer don't work and actually sometimes it just goes crazy and starts bouncing up and down to like 100 miles an hour to down to zero. Uh, so we've narrowed this down to the speed sensor. Uh, it's an electronic sensor. It feeds uh, one signal goes to the head unit. It runs motors for the speedometer and for the odometer. And in order to get to that, we're going to have to take the rear wheel off and I uh, believe this is the new style which goes in on the bottom. There's a compression ring there, so I assume that some sort of fluid is going to come out of this thing. So uh, let's get into it. Okay, it looks like I may have got the wrong sensor here. That is the speed sensor. Man, it's cruddy down there. And that doesn't exactly that doesn't exactly look like the one that I got. Well, for one thing, it's loose. It's loose. Okay, so here's the deal. This is not this. So I got the wrong part. Um However, the one that was in the car was spinning loosely uh, in its socket, so not sure if it was just loose. So I'm going to clean it up and put it back in, and uh, we're going to return this one and possibly exchange it for the correct one. Let's see if the speedometer works with, uh, with this thing being tight. Sensor's bad. To the internet. It's time to take the speed sensor off again. Uh, we got the wrong one, sent it back. The right one is unavailable. We're gonna have to take this one apart and see if we can fix it. Component level repairs, here we go. Okay, we got this guy uh, out of the car, and uh, the first thing I want to do is actually, there's a procedure to test this, so uh, let's confirm that, uh, that this thing is actually the culprit, and uh, go from there. So I'm turning the, uh, I'm turning the little wheel in here, and that's supposed to be changing by plus or minus three volts and it is not doing a thing, not moving at all. Okay, this is the hardest part of this operation, is getting the sensor apart. The top of this housing is curved over the plastic connector, and I'm just prying the soft metal up in order to get that connector out. Here's a picture of it taken apart, and it helps you see what you have to do to it. And to finish separating this plastic, you have to desolder the main power wires. Bam. 
Okay, here's what I got. I've got a replacement for this. That diode, direction is important there, and uh, these two capacitors. Uh, I have something that, um, that I think will work there, but it's much larger and uh, not exactly the right part number. Wondering a dingy. Okay, here's a new diode. That's correct. So, if I test, so I'm getting a value on a diode in both directions. That's not right. So I'm going to replace that too. So I went ahead and took that uh, film capacitor off too. Um, it just looked really bad. And I think the one that I have is a close enough spec. So uh, it, it, it just looked really bad, so. That is every component replaced on this board except for the resistors and the uh, the coil, little coil thingy here. So, wish me luck. I can't tell if this is registering the movement of that wheel or um, or not. I do know that it's moving and didn't do that before. Uh, I think I have all checked the wiring diagram. I checked my solder joints. Uh, I checked continuity between all the points that needed to be checked and everything looks like it is correct. However, I'm just not sure. Um, I can't get a new one of these. I haven't been able to track one down, so the source that I got the wrong one from does not have the right one. So um, I think what I'm gonna do is put the wiring terminals back on this, button it all back up, plug it in, see if it works. Just had to change out of my street clothes because this is gonna be a little dirty. Wow. Well, That is negative joy, no joy. Huh. Well, we gave this a shot. We tried to fix it with uh, Mauser parts, but uh, that didn't work. So we're gonna have to track us down a new one of those, uh, new one of those sensors. That could be fun. Or not. Several days later. Through the magic of science. Really just the internet. Um, gonna solve this problem once and for all. Once more into the wheel well. Here we go. Okay, so much for that. 
actual click. Actual click. Okay, moment of truth, gentle people. that I have not done. So, uh, I have a 200 mile limit on this car and that's when I fill up. And now I can again know when I've gone 200 miles. So, woohoo! Hey, thanks for watching. Uh, 308 wrench time's always fun. Uh, this car is actually a joy to work on. Um, really not that difficult. <laughs> I am loathing getting back into DeLorean projects because they are difficult. Is it effing raining? It's effing raining. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Uh.